As Joseph Campbell said, we're so engaged in doing things to achieve purposes of outer value that we forget the inner value, the rapture that is associated with being alive is what it's all about. That, my friends, is the name of the game. You've got to figure out what it is that actually makes you feel alive. And if you understand that the game that you're playing is actually a game of brain chemistry and that nothing else matters, there's no objective truth, there's no one path to glory, there's no one life for you to live. There's only the subjective truth, the thing inside you, that gut instinct, that voice that whispers to you. You've got to learn to trust that. You've got to learn to trust it by building it up. You've got to learn to trust it by taking actions and gut checking yourself and asking, is that me? Is that who I want to be? Or is that somebody else, cultural voice, my parents, my lover, whatever, trying to speak through me? And as Harley Davidson said, when writing the story of your life, don't let anyone else hold the pen. So right now ask yourself, who's writing your story? Is it you? Are you really listening to the voice in your head? Are you looking at and living by the things that give you the chills? Or are you trying to live a life that somebody else wants for you? And remember when you think about that question, what William James said, act as if what you do matters, because it does. Even if for nobody else, every step you take, every thought that you allow to permeate your mind, everything that you obsess about, your dreams, the things that you want, the hopes that you spend your time with, they matter to you because they tell you who you are. They tell you who you're trying to become. And ultimately, those things that you let monopolize your mind will become you. So if somebody else is holding the pen, if somebody else is forcing you to write something that doesn't make you feel alive, that is a life lost. And that is how you die, my friends, before you ever had a chance to live.